Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I'm back on F1 2020 where we are hitting up the Dutch Grand Prix. Unfortunately, this race has been cancelled in real life. I really thought it was going to be one of the ones that would have been rescheduled with all of the sort of normal mainland European races being rescheduled, but must be something in Holland that, uh, or some regulation that they're just not letting people in the country or something along those lines. But anyway, we're going to be recreating it here on F1 2020. The track itself, as you can see, is really short. I'm just actually shocked when we saw this come out on the F1 calendar in the first place just because it just <laughs> is just not a track I would expect F1 to go race at. I mean, it's an awesome track. Um, it's great in the GT side of things, but in F1, I just couldn't imagine seeing an F1 race go around here. I mean, you wouldn't be able to pass at all, except for maybe the front straight, but even that's not very long in, in, in Formula 1 standards. So anyway, haven't qualified too well uh, going into today's race. Qualified down in 18th, I think it was. I just can't seem to get it right over one lap. I mean, I feel like I'm going as, as hard as I possibly could and pushing as as hard as I could but the AI just seemed to be better in the in the qualifying sessions than what they are in the race itself so maybe hopefully a patch will come out at some point where they maybe even it out because at Hanoi the last track or Vietnam Grand Prix the last race we did qualifying qualified dead last and then came and managed to drive through the field and finish 10th so uh, yeah, got our first points finish of the season last time out. Looking to try and get back inside the top 10 today. Definitely missed out on a big points finish at Bahrain earlier on in the season. So, yeah, anyway, that's enough talk. Let's sort out this strategy and get on the formation lap. See what the strat is looking like today. One stopper. Oh, it's actually pretty close. Do I want to go softs or do I want to go mediums? 24 laps on the uh, I'll tell you what, even though it says that the softs are going to be better overall, I actually reckon I'm going to go for the mediums just to have a little bit, well, not have to worry as much about saving tyres. Uh, 36.5. And I think setup wise, I've just got a setup off the, um, off the Steam Workshop. So, I'm just thinking, do I want to change anything? I was under the impression that Park Ferme regulations meant you couldn't change anything going into the race, but as you can see here, I can change whatever I want. Um, I knew you used to be able to change the front wing. I'm just going to leave it, to be honest. We'll just see how it goes in the first stint and go from there. All right, let's get away on this formation lap. Starting all the way down at 18th. You see, it's not a very wide start-finish straight here, so it's going to be very interesting going into Turn 1, and Turn 1 being such a sort of tight right-hander. Practice start here. Launch map is good, but we need to learn the gears, so go into each one when you can. We're going to need some work on the brakes, so put some energy into them and warm the tyres as well, please. Yeah, no, I've sort of been getting better at the starts over the last couple of races. It just took me a while because the clutch is not, uh, well, for some reason, I don't know why, but F1 2020 and the controls, the clutch isn't sort of just a, you know, where, ugh, I don't know actually the words. It's not like an axis, even though you sort of map it as an axis and I have a clutch pedal, it's either on or off in the actual game itself. So you can't really find the bite point and match the bite point with the actual throttle um, so you just gotta try and get the the throttle actual percentage so that it doesn't wheel spin but you don't bog down too much at the same time but I'm not doing too much weaving here on this formation lap don't want to overheat these tires too much or scrub too much just use the brakes more than anything Very short lap, as you can see, we're already down to the third last corner. It's one minute nine, I think the fastest lap was in qualifying. So it's, I don't remember what the times are in Monaco these days, but it's got to be very close. Yeah, computer's taken over. Let's just sit. Lining up. Here we go. Round number, I just don't know what round this is now. Must be getting on. Alrighty. Dutch Grand Prix F1 2020. Lights out. Oh, not a very good start at all. It's swamped by just about everyone. Let's 
not gone well at all. Mind you, they are all on softer tyre, so struggle for pace here early on. Around the outside. Woo! Get a couple here. Oh, jeez, squeeze. Such a narrow track. Save that overtake for the end of the lap. Damn, why? I've just got no power whatsoever right now. My power unit is definitely on its last legs, that is for sure. Jeez. Elbows out. So, uh, pa uh, practice pace wasn't too bad, but it's really, really struggling for pace now. Yeah, no, I think I've got like 60 odd percent wear on the ICE, so the internal combustion engine. I really struggle for power into this in this race, but this is the last race we'll run on it, so next time out we should be okay. I just thought I could get away with it because it's not a very, you know, power based track. Oh, we got some here on the overtake. Oh, here you going. Alright, that one is in the books, up to 17th, to gain one spot after drop, dropping quite a few. Oh, really does like to pinch that left front going into there with the banking contact, come on. Air wash, that's disgusting. Some minor Again, this track is just so difficult to pass on. Okay, we'll get DRS next lap, so that should help us out. Mind you, I think just about everyone else in front of us is going to have DRS as well. Ooh, that's a bit too much curb. Now, if we can get through these first couple laps without using up too much tyre, we should be good because. Most of this field is on the soft by the looks of it. Okay, we're monitoring somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. In terms of the realism of this uh, Zanvort rendition that Codemasters have come out with, I personally don't feel it's all too realistic. There's a lot of corners that are definitely too, way too uh, banked compared to the real life circuit itself. Too narrow an entry. Yeah, and as well as that, some of the sort of curvature and the way the corners are just doesn't feel like... I mean, I haven't driven Zanvort in real life, but driven quite a few uh, laser scan versions and, and uh, it just doesn't really feel that if realistic. You can get past, make use of the overtake button and see what you can do. Uh, DRS here, but too far back. You, um, oh, too much good. Is that signs in front? Of, uh, two cars in front is on the uh, hard by the looks of it. So he's gonna get quicker as this run goes on. In practice, I was using overtake here just to try and get up out of that tight corner, but there's really no point using it here in the race. So I'm not gonna be able to overtake with it. to get a good final sector here and see if I can get close enough to make a move. We got plenty of grip in this Alpha Tauri chassis. That is the team if you haven't already noticed that I'm driving for this season. But struggling for straight line speed. Not close enough. Save it for another lap. Up. 
teammates in a bit of a scrap a couple cars ahead yeah, definitely got a lot more pace than these guys in front of us this, this is why I need to get qualifying better because we would not be in this issue if I freaking screwed up my lap so much I mean I didn't screw it up just can't seem to get it right oh that's grass come on not any, under any pressure from behind though so don't have to worry about defending Again, they've got a, a DRS zone here. I was actually trying to figure out where they were going to put the second DRS zone. With all the, you know, corners on this track. Uh, just getting screwed over in this dirty air. Alright, here we go. We've got to try and make a move here. Should use all this overtake. I've got damage set to simulation, so I've got to be really careful. I don't try and make a move. If it was just signs in oh, Ocon in front of us, and I would have had a dive by now, but the problem is you go and try and dive underneath someone, and you got someone right in front of them. It's so easy to just clip the guy in front and lose a front wing. something here, it's getting too back on, terrible exit. It's so hard to overtake on this track. Definitely got more pace. Problem is he's getting the DRS from the car in front, and then that car's getting the DRS from the car in front of him, and that car in front of him is getting the DRS from him. It's just no way past. If I had a fit at the medium, so we would have struggled with the softs by now. That's why I needed a better first lap. Wouldn't have been in this bloody position. Catch that ripple strip up. Freaking lose the rear end. Oh, that's too wide. Come on. Oh. Nope. Double shifted. Come on. Flags out. Someone said an incident. Oh, was that? Oh, wait, that was the guy that was behind me. What? Did I do something? What? What's happened there? But Ocon's had a bit of an issue. Bugs in this bloody room. Go oh, wait. What happened there? 
know if he's gone for a lunge and I've cut him off, but I didn't hear anything. Ah, come on. I think his uh, signs is going to start coming in here on the hard tyre, but we definitely have the pace over him right now. I'm starting to lose that front tyre a little bit, to be fair. I'm being too abusive on the tyre. This aero wash is not helping it out. Should be able to do something this lap. Go. Bruh. Okay, just move in the braking zone, no worries. Yeah, see Giovinazzi and uh, Gasly, I think they're both on the soft, so we should have some pace advantage here. My sign's gone. Gap to him quickly. Expect to see some rain about 10 to 15 minutes. Rain? Now. Fucking hell, I didn't know it was gonna rain. Oh shit. A dry setup on. Did not check the <laughs> forecast before going into this one. Alright, well, let's just focus on the now. Flags out again. Yellow flag. Be aware, there's an incident in the next part of the track. No oh, we can't pass. Oh, Jesus. Green flag. Damn, I was really well set up there. Can't believe that car slowed down. But we're up into 12th, so making moves. Another yellow flag. Two in front of us really struggling on this uh safety car, oh safety, safety car. car shit no overtaking reduce your pace keep your delta number positive as we form up check your mft so, so we could hit now go to the end on mediums but i don't think we'd last is that 25 laps do i want a box box now 20 may as well box this lap Pitting this lap then, come into the pits at the end of this lap. Be really careful on the mediums though. Alright. Oh shit, now we can't pit because fucking Gasly's pitting. Pierre is in for his stop. Oops. Who's that out there? I didn't go in, we would have been screwed hard there with a the double stack. We'll just have to go with the strategy they option. I guess because he is the car in front, he would have been able to have first sort of reserve or whatever. But we're up into fourth. I wish we could have pitted there, that sucked. I mean, I could have double stacked, but I just didn't want to freaking go all the way down to last. I think I'd Better off staying out front here. I mean, our tyres aren't too bad. 34, 27%. It's not a lot of wear. I was expecting a lot more. Probably should have gone with that. Should have gone with a softer tyre if I'd known there'd been a safety car, but anyway. Right, going back to green flag racing here, he's starting in fourth. This is going to be very interesting because definitely do not have to pace the cars around us. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy that.
of spare energy. Use your overtake button. Ah, shit. Well, we got some pace here. I thought we would have been absolutely done by now. We're expecting rain in around 10 to 15 minutes. I'll tell you what, if it starts to piss it down, then we've really done well with the strategy. Damn it, get the DRS again. Time. Tire condition is still looking good. Yeah, second sector, um, shit. Push now. We're boxing this lap. Uh, I'm gonna stay out. Wait till it rains. The car behind is dropping back by about three tenths a lap. Save that overtake for when I actually need it. I don't know who's that front, but they're holding everyone up. Defending for my life right now. It's gonna rain, I definitely wanna see if I can wait for it to piss down and not have to pit twice. Yeah, uh, no. Right, rain's coming supposedly.
can't believe how how well we've held onto this tire. Still feels like it's got grip in it. She it keeps up telling me I, I've got a different strategy available, but it's the same fucking strategy. <laughs> Oh, this is stressful. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Got that oh. confirmed. Fuck's sake. What are you doing? Piss it down, piss it down. I need tyres, any tyres, don't care which one it is at this point in time. Alright, not this lap but the next lap, definitely. I have to I have to come and put inters on. I'm just gonna gamble it. It's just not fucking wet enough. Shot it. Ah, oh, you fucking twat. It'll need replacing if it takes too much damage. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Oh, he's damaged my front wing. Great. Ah, oh, perfect. Alright, I'm going to come in, put Inters on, hopefully it pisses itself down in a couple more laps, and I'm going to have to replace front wing anyway, because it's busted, thanks to whoever the hell that was. <sighs> Great race. Love life. Go, go, go. Ah. Oh, this has been a disaster. I'm going to lose so much bloody time on this tyre that... Far out. Another strategy fail. Uh, everything's on its last legs. See, after all this rain, there's still no spray, no nothing. It just must be really light. I wish it... I wish they would say how heavy the rain is actually going to be, rather than just say there's going to be rain. I mean, the clouds look like it's going to piss it down. And it, you know, it's not looking too good on the visor either. It's just, it's not raining hard enough, you know. In real life, if it's going to bucket down, it will bucket down, it will spit. And they would tell you which one it's going to be. I'm just going to coast this thing to the finish line. Can't believe we were literally here, you know, a lap ahead. And now we've just... I've absolutely munted this thing royally. Alright, well, this has definitely been one of these races to forget. This has been an absolutely shocking strategy move from myself. I thought I could gamble and get away with it. It has not worked at all. Generally thought it was going to piss it down when the engineer said that there'd be rain, but obviously not. And the track, even though it's been raining for the last 10 laps, is still dry, so... 18th! Awesome result. Oh my god, I just can't believe what I screwed up. I mean, we were literally in the points for the entire race. And if we'd gone on to the soft, you know, it would have been awesome. But... Oh well, 
it is what it is. Move on to the next one. That is a cool helmet, though. I do love Max's helmet. But, oh. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I know it wasn't the finish we were hoping for, but we did have a pretty action-filled fun race up until that point. Next up is Monaco. Uh, even though it's Spanish Grand Prix, I'm not going to record that one. I'll just skip through that one and, and go straight to Monaco. I don't have the time to do every single uh, race on the calendar. I mean, there's 22 rounds. So, yeah, and amongst all the stuff I'm doing on R-Factor 2 and... Uh, and NASCAR Heat 5, which has been a massive disappointment. But nonetheless, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get plenty more content uh, up on the channel. Like, subscribe, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.